Hello students. Now in this video, we are going to know about types of demand. Students, there are different types of demand. The demand for a commodity depend upon uh, the category to which it belongs. And these categories are known as demand distinctions or types of demand. So on the basis of that, we can say the demand for good is nothing but the type of demand. So consumers demand and producers goods demand. On the basis of its use, we can divide it, uh, divide all the demands between consumers goods demand and producers goods demand. The second category is perishable and non-perishable goods demand. So on the basis of its nature, products nature, we can say perishable goods demand and non-perishable goods demand. Third category is autonomous and derived demand. On the basis of its effect, we can bifurcate it or we can categorize it as, as an autonomous demand and derived demand. Then four, industry demand and company demand. Okay, some total of all companies demand and a particular firm's demand. Then short run and long run demand on the basis of time element, we categorize it as short run demand and long run demand. Then total market and segment demand. Okay, on the basis of classification of a particular market, we can divide it into uh, total market and segmental demand. Now see one by one. First, consumers and producers goods demand okay so consumer goods the consumer goods are those goods and services which are produced for direct consumption by the consumers they are purchased directly by them and used for satisfying want they are meant for final consumption okay consumer goods are basically meant for final consumptions okay they are produced uh, for direct consumption for the uh, by the consumers and they are purchased directly by them and used for satisfying want while well, the producer goods producer goods are those goods and services meant for the further use of uh, production or produced to uh, another commodities or services they are purchased by the producer for producing other commodities okay so these are producers goods now see so they are uh, we can say that there is a direct demand for consumer goods and derived demand for producers goods consumers goods are directly demanded by the consumers for consumption purpose okay but the demand for producer goods is derived from the demand for other products that's why it is known as derived demand the consumer goods are further we can divide into consumer durables and consumer non-durable goods see uh, consumer durables are those goods which can be used again and again over a period of time okay they have long life consumer durables have a long life they can be used more than one and um, are durable for example a tv set refrigerator book mobile leather bag chappal cupboard okay bicycle scooter umbrella and coat so all these are the example of durable goods yeah and they can be used again and again over a period of time so such type of goods are known as consumer durable goods while uh, all uh, once purchased they can be used over a number of year okay so consumer non-durable refers to such goods which can be used only once they get exhausted in a single act of consumption okay so food item like beverages and flour milk fish biscuit in kolapur tamda pandarasa 
okay provide the example of consumer non durable okay these goods are also called as single use goods okay now see consumer goods determinants so de the demand a uh, behavior of consumer and producer good is not the same the producer goods are determined by producers uh, the producer goods are demanded by producers they are expert and careful when they buy the goods uh, they use them for further production they are guided uh, by economic consideration by uh, social economic culture okay by policies related to that a uh, particular market okay the aim is to make profit the demand for producer goods is derived demand and the aim is to make profit it change violently the demand for consumer good is determined by various factors okay so the consumer durable are demanded on the basis of time that is time use use facilities for what purpose they are going to used and demography also okay they can be used over a period of time consumer take into account as to how long they can be used they can be repaired okay and the purchase can be postponed this is known as time use these goods also require certain facilities for their uses a car required road and petrol stations television needs telecasting stations the wide ranging use of computer is depend upon uh, internet facility so all these are known as use facility okay and the demand for such goods is influenced by the use facility available the durable are used by more than one person the demand depends upon demography that is number of person using it the consumer durable be, uh, therefore have two type of demands that is new demand and replacement demand in case of consumer durable goods we can buy for it again it sub categorized it as new demand and replacement demand okay so here uh, the demand for consumer non durable is guided by purchasing power price and demography so there is continuity and consistency in demand the demand for durable durable goods is more volatile so these goods can be stored and their replacement can be postponed so this is uh, there is a less consistency and continuity in demand for such goods so it moves rapidly and evaporate or uh, quickly depend on business conditions okay so this is consumers demand and producers demand